Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World Away. We now got pack 10 of the Agora Models release of Bismarck, the legendary battleship. So box 10 brings together all stages of 105 to 116. Absolute loads to do. I mean, the running time for this video is about an hour and a half, so you can imagine how long it actually takes to do without all of those edits in it. Absolutely brilliant value for your money in this. There's so much to build as well. Now, if you want to get this from pack one, I've put the link in the video description to the Agora Models website. You can get this all the way from pack one. Now, over at Agora Models at the moment, you've got the Super Snake, the Cobra, the Terminator, the Leopard Tank, the Zero Fighter, the New York Fire Truck, the uh, Jaguar E-Type, the... <laughs> I, I keep missing it. I'm going to write these down. I'll write them down. But in particular, they have now bought out the Porsche 917KH that uh, was featured in Steve McQueen's film Le Mans. This is available to pre-order now. Once again, if you go over to the Agora Models website, you'll be able to see that for yourself. But without further ado, let's get cracking. <laughs> First thing we need to do is bring over this almighty hulk of a ship, just like that. And we've got the whole piece here. This is the whole piece, looking like that. It's going to be going on the port side of the ship. So this is going to be going just underneath like that. And once again, like all the others, it's going to be held in with two times four mil screws. So we need three screws for this. I'm going to put this one in here first. That's one. Uh, I'll put the one in that's attached it to the next plate here next. This is certainly going to reinforce that kill piece we had in here. I was a bit worried about that being damaged, but uh, it is good. It is worth noting as well. You can actually see the indent coming out of this now for where the prop's going to be. So uh, the propeller's going to be uh, the prop shaft in there. Propeller somewhere down here, I'm guessing. We'll have to see but there we go that's the whole piece in we don't need to ship now so i'm going to put this to one side now we're going to be working on this deck detail here now you will have noticed i haven't filled in any of the portholes yet i do have my sharpie pen to do that later uh, but for now we're just going to be putting some details into that okay because there's so many sprue details on this i'm going to get my glue ready now so i'm just going to put a channel of glue in there and the first thing we need is the port splinter protection which looks just like this here now that is going to go in just like that on this side and we've got one for the starboard side just going in here like that so we need to glue these in to do that i'm using my archimedes drill with a normal dressmaking pin inside and all i'm going to do is just put some glue into the channels here again i don't use too much the last thing you want is glue marks on the deck so that's the port one in let's just do the starboard one also when you're putting these in be very careful of your frames and railings you're putting as well <laughs> you don't want to be uh pinging those off into all directions okay and there's the second one in just like that now we've got some storage lockers to put in and they come on a sprue looking just like this these are smaller ones we've got so many lockers on each sprue look we've got a sprue here which has got loads more on but the one we want is the one that looks like that now these are going to be going into the three channels that we've got around this side here and this side here so i think i'll do the starboard side ones first I think I'll do one at a time because I've got a habit of losing them. Now they do have tiny little lugs at the bottom there that will help us put these in. I don't think you can see this very well, but I will try my best. Put some glue into these holes, one in there, one in there. I think it's probably best if I put them in first and then show you what they look like. But uh, it has to be said that this Bismarck build has probably got more sprues than I've ever seen in any build, and that includes the Millennium Falcon. So that's the first one in, looking just like that. Let's put the other two in. Now these are right next to each other. I'll 
get these off the uh, sprue. Can I put them in without? No, I can't. <laughs> I'm going to say, can I put them in without tweezers? But uh, that weren't happening. But there's the second one. It's a lot easier with tweezers, that's for sure. And here's the third one. But there is the third one. So that is what it looks like on that side there. We're going to do the same on the other side. So that's what it looks like from that side. And that's what it looks like from that side. Okay, we're going to be putting in the Life Boys now. Now, the Life Boys come in as white. But I have already changed them because earlier on in the build, if you look at any picture of the Bismarck, they've always been red like that so they weren't white they were definitely definitely red and you can see that on all the pictures so i've already painted these red to put on now i've got to figure out where they go okay so the first place they go on the starboard side here we've got two holes here and two holes here that's where the first lot of life boys are going to go so i'll put them in now and then we'll figure out as we go around where the rest of them are going Now these are absolutely tiny but that one's got in okay let's do the second one just like that pick one up there's six of these to put in And that's the second one, quite impactful, looking just like that. We've got one on the deck further up here, on the second deck, just here. And then I'm guessing it's going to be uniform and symmetrical on the other side. So I'll get this third one in. There we go, three on that side. I can't believe how impactful that looks. So we do exactly the same on the other side. They do definitely go in to the same places on the other side here. And there we go. That's the other side completed. So it looks, should look like that from one side and that from the other side. Now we're going to be working on the storage cylinders, which look just like this. Now they are all the same. I'm just double checking that. Yep, they're all the same. So I'm going to cut all of these off the sprue. So the first one cylinder that we're going to be putting in is going to go this side just to the port side of the babette there. Uh, the detail side is actually going to be facing out towards the port edge. So I'm going to drop some glue into these holes here. One and two. It's got two lugs at the bottom of it so it's just a case of pushing that home like that. We're going to do the same thing on the other side but obviously the details are going to be facing out towards the starboard side wall. So I'll put that in here. And again, that's gone far too well. I'm waiting for something to happen. <laughs> okay, the next ones are going to go on this edge here. We've got two holes each side. And these are the last two that we need to put in there. I'm just looking at the pictures here. And once again, the details are going to be facing, as you would expect, out towards the babette. Because you really, you don't want to hide the details on that side there. So I'll put this one in. That's one in. And then the last one, just on the other side here. One. And two. I'm to put this in with my left hand and I'm not left handed so there we go that's the second one in so that's all the cylinders in place just like that the next lot of storage lockers we have look like that and as you can see there's four on one side and there's five on the other here they're like that for a reason and that's because on the starboard side 
I believe we've got four going on. Just having a look at this. And I think on the port side, we've got five. So uh, that's what it's looking like in the pictures. So I'm going to see if that's correct by looking at how many holes. Now, basically, they're going to be going into this section here where we've got all of the holes lined up ready for them. Just get one off first just so I can see how it attaches. Now, there is some indents in the deck to show where these go. So we definitely have four indents on this side and there's definitely more on the port side here, as you can see there. So I'll put some glue in there. We'll start putting these in. One in here. We want to make sure they fit flush into the section there. So that's one in. That worked a treat. I've got one next to it. That's the second one in. I don't think it actually matters what way they go in. I think the thing that matters more is that they're straight when you put them in. Look a bit silly if they weren't. So let's do the next one. Here's the next one. That one's got in fine. And then the last one on this side I will show you what this looks like in a second. It's just going in here. And get this last one off. Okay. And there we go. That's the four storage lockers in place on that side. Now, we've got five to do on this side here. Excellent, and there we go. So as you can see, there's five on that side, four on that side, and we've got another empty sprue. Now we're gonna be working on the uh, paravanes. Now the paravanes look like little tiny submarine things. <laughs> and there's a few of these. So I'm gonna break all of these off the sprue. The first one we're gonna be doing on the starboard side, and it goes just before the last life boy that we've got just there. So they've got two little pegs in them. They're gonna go into the two holes that we can see just there. So let's get one of these in. Just holding that for a second. There we go, and that's the first power vein in like that. Oh God, they don't all face the same direction, just so you know. So the second one that's going behind it is facing the opposite way. Lucky I checked that, didn't I? Okay. So second one is face. I really don't want to use my tweezers, but uh, I think I might have to. It's facing this way here. It's actually slightly lower down the one on the other side there but that looks just like that uh, then we've got one facing the same way as that one which is going just oh my god just going on this end over here and it's facing the same way as the one i just put in These would have been far easier to put in before they were on the deck, that's for sure. Yep, there we go, and that's the next one in there. <laughs> so, exactly the same way as what we've just done. The first power vein is going in here, and it's gonna be facing towards that life boy there. But there we go, that's that one in. We've got one going just behind it facing exactly the opposite way that's leaving me with three left so we've got two there and i'm gonna have to bring over the whole ship because i don't want to move the superstructure deck because it's 
all wired in. But, uh, let's spin it around one second. Because two of the power vanes are going in this side here, on the port side. Uh, you'll have to look at the pictures for this, facing away from each other. And one is going on the starboard side, which I'm very much aware you can't see. I'm sorry. But I will get it in and show you what they look like. Again, I'm surprised we're doing this detail now when we could have done it earlier on. But basically when they go on, the tails are gonna be facing towards each other, which means the fronts are facing away. So I'll get two in on this side. So I'm gonna put the one in on the other side. I'll pivot it round. And the one on the other side, if you look at the picture, goes into the tiny channel just in front of the door here. And it actually faces towards the door. We've got three fire hoses to put on. Now it is worth noticing, I've had a look at these, the one in the middle has actually got a slanted lug on the back. They don't tell us that though. They're saying that they're all the same. So uh, what I'm gonna do is cut off the ones with the straight lug on the back and we'll put those in. Right, okay, so the first one is gonna go just in front of that power vane there on the starboard side in the little horizontal lug that we can see there. I'll put some glue in there. And it basically goes with a flat end of this towards the um, power vane there. I'm gonna hold this in my tweezers and hopefully I can get this in first time. <laughs> Which I have done, <laughs> that never happens for me. There we go, so that looks just like that. Now the second ones go on the port side and as you can see we've got two places for them. We've got one here and one just at the back here. Yeah, so the one with the slant on definitely, definitely goes on the front. But again, they don't tell... Oh, God, I'm dropping them. They don't tell you there's a difference in the instructions. So uh, just be careful of that. And you'll know that because it fits absolutely flush in there like that. Which means the hole that we've got at the back here is for just the normal flat-sided lug. And this one goes, again, with the flat side pointing away from the babette there. I'll be lost on this build without tweezers and magnifying glasses, I'll tell you. So when the fire hoses are in, they look just like that. And that is another empty sprue. We're gonna be removing the frame eye, which looks just like this door thing here, but they're not actually identified as a door. So I'm hoping that is a door because I've just called it a door. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the first one get this detail off so it's going uh, on the side of this tower here uh, and it's got a little lug to fit in in the deck as you can see just there so I'm going to push that in now just in there and it goes this way around Make sure it's straight. So when that's in, that should look just like that. Not quite sure what the hole in the front's for. I'm sure we'll find out soon. Oh, there is a detail in, <laughs> which is detail G. So I'm just having a look at that, which looks just like this one here. That's what goes in the front. You see, you ask a question, you get your instant answer. Now, this goes in the front of that door we've just put in. And it's a funny looking piece. But again, it is directional, so it's probably best to look at the pictures for this. That's just going in there. Making sure it's in and straight. So that should look just like that when it's in. And then on the other side, we don't have a door to put in, but we have got the same detail that we just put in which is going into the hole that we can see just at the bottom there. And that's just going in here. Just like that. 
uh, make sure I've got it in the right way it's going in that way so I'm going to drop this in here just like that make sure it's straight yep I like that and that's those two details in the back in then we're going to be moving over to these sections that we did in the last stage there got a couple of details to put in there we've got one that looks like a shower <laughs> seriously it looks like a shower i'll cut the detail off and show you sorry this is the ship's bell and the main mast winch will be going next to it so let's put the uh the ship's bell on first it's going to go on uh just the oh where's my glue gone just having a look at this again right it's just going to go on the very front into the hole that we can see just there the ship's bell perhaps i should be painting that gold i'm having enormous problems getting things in holes at the moment there we go so that's the bell on and then we've just got the winch to put on which is the last detail on this cut this off to make sure i've got all the parts of the detail on here it's labeled detail five on the sprue and this is just going into the two holes that we've got behind it here one there and one there I'll just get these in make sure it's straight excellent that's the winch and ship's bell in place there and then the last seat that's one empty sprue there's one more sprue to do which has just got two ladders on it so we'll cut these off okay they're just going to be going with this end here facing towards the 15 centimeter gun so i'm just going to drop some glue into these holes here and put the first ladder in as i said the grill side or the great side's going towards the 15 centimeter gun i've got one side in That's the all in. I think I want to pick that up to make it a little bit straighter. There we go. And that's the ladder on that side. Do the same on the other side. And that's got it a lot easier that time. Once again, I just want to straighten this up. And there we go. That's in the other side. And that is all there is to do in that stage what a lot of details all the paravanes the cylinders looking pretty good isn't it but uh there you go and just to show you another empty sprue so we are going to start nice and easy by bringing over the ship and we have got a whole piece to put in and this is just going to be on the other side to the one that we put in so this is what it's looking like here once again, it's just going to slot underneath, just like that. And it's going to be held in by the silver 2.4 mil screws, which I have got here, all ready to go. Make that nice and tight. And then the final one, just at the other side there. That's going to very much reinforce this part of the ship. I was a little bit worried about this part, because with... The kill section in on its own, it was quite uh, unstable, but now it's been reinforced by these. As you can see, I can't actually move it. Uh, but we don't need that anymore, so we can put this to one side. Now, what we do need is this part of the deck that we've been working on God, for so many stages now. Now, for this build, so many details, you are going to need your magnifying glasses. Once again, I've put the link down the bottom there for the Amazon store. I have got these in my Amazon store in the UK and the US. But we're going to be breaking off some binoculars. And if you look at these, they are tiny. They're these little things here on this side here. One of them's already trying to come off. So I'll get these off and we'll put these on. Now, if you look on the close-up camera, these are going to go on this deck just here. And we've got a hole in this side here. We've got one on the other side there. And that's where these are going to go. Drop some glue in the first hole. And basically the uh, the shaft of this goes from the outside to the inside. So if I hold it like this. I 
And there we go, that's the first binocular in place. Let's do the same on the other side. Hold the binocular from the top. If you are unsure about the uh, direction these go, then just uh, look at the picture. It's going to twist it a little bit so it's perfectly at 90 degrees. And there we go, that's both of the binoculars in place that you can see on the top camera there. Now, on the same sprue here, we've got the gun mounts, so we need to cut those off. And these are going to go on the front of this deck here. You'll see the three holes that these are going to mount into here. Now, they do have a tiny, tiny hole just at the front of one of the arms here, so we want to make sure that points this way towards the uh, stern of the ship. This is where the stern of the ship's going to be. So, drop some glue in here. One, two, three. And I'll drop the first gun mount in place. I'm going to say my uh, my usual thing that I say when I do this. That this would have been far easier to do before we put that radar in. So it's a bit crazy that we're doing it now. As a matter of fact, it would have been far easier to do before we put the railings in as well. So uh, it does beg a belief about sometimes the uh, what order they want us to do some of these things in. That one's just got absolutely perfect in there, first time. So there we go, that's the gun mounts in there. Put that to one side because we're actually going to be making the uh, two centimetre flat guns now, which means I need to break off these photo etch parts. So there we go, that's all the parts off. Now I'm going to take the base first. The first thing I'm going to do is we're going to be pulling up this tab just at this side here. Now I do have some duck bill pliers that I normally use to bend, but because this is a lot smaller, I'm using my mini pliers here just to get down onto that to bend it up. Just like that. Do the same on the other side. And as you can see, they're both in. Now we're gonna bend the gun. So it's best to look at the picture for this, but we're gonna be bending it in the two notch points. So you don't actually need a bending tool for this because they've already had a notch put out of it. So if you've followed the notches completely, you can get a nice bend in it without putting any tools or anything in it. Once that's done, we're just gonna fold up these sides. Again, because of the, the bend lines in that, you're probably not gonna need a tool for this. I'm just gonna check. No, they've gone in absolutely fine. See, I've done all of that without any bending tools at all, but that looks just like that. Show you that side on my hand there. There we go. So do that again to the other one. Then we're going to bring over the ship. And the first thing we're going to do is the gun bases that we made. We're going to put on top of these plastic bases that we put in. Now remember we bent a tip at the side here. We want to make sure they're towards the back and the nearest edge. So I'll get the first one in here. Put in some glue just on the uh, inner circles there because this is actually going to be going over the points of this here. So I'll drop one in and show you what that looks like. There we go. Just like that. You can see how I've got the tab on that one. Do the same on the other side. Got that here. Drop it over and push it down. So that's both of those in place. And then we're going to put the uh, guns on top. Now I've just noticed on the bottom of the guns we've got a little tab that we're going to need to bend down. Just using my tweezers to help me for that. Because they're just going to go into the holes that we can see at the front of those bases we just put in. So drop a bit of glue in there. And just align that tab that we've just bent down. onto that and that's the first gun in look at the detail in that do the same on the other side and put the gun into place and that's the two guns in place there now we're going to need the sprue that looks just like this we want to break off the splinter protections which look like these two uh, details just here and this is where symmetry is going to be your friend because we want the flat side of this 
to be towards the edge of the deck and the fin and the bent side here to be towards this middle structure here. So this is just going to go into the two holes that we can see, one here and one here. And I'll get the uh, first piece in. Just like that. And then in front of it, we're going to take one of the lockers, which looks like this detail here. And we're going to glue that into place as well. I can't see any details on this, so I don't suppose it matters what way around they go in, as long as it's in straight. That's what it should look like there. I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. And I'll show you on the top camera when they're both in, they should look just like that. Then we've got some splinter protection, just some shorter pieces here on the sprue looking like these two here. So we'll get those off. And they're basically going to go around these two storage lockers that we can see here and here. So I'll drop some uh, glue into these holes. It's only these two holes that we've got either side of that locker. And then we'll just drop this piece in. Hopefully you can see this on some of the camera because some of the detail work on this. Pretty amazing. But that's the first one in. Looking just like that. We do exactly the same on the other side. But there you go. That's all in place. Looking just like that. The last thing we've got on this sprue. A couple of bits of pipe work. So I'll get them off. And they're going to be going either side of the doors. That we can just see on this deck here and here. So I'll put some glue in these two holes that we've got either side. And when they're in. They should look just like that. Now we need the storage locker from this frame, these ones down the bottom here. And the first one is going on the port side, just at this end, by the 15 centimeter turret into the hole that we can just see there. The handle for the door is going to be pointing towards the center. And they've been very clever to let you know what piece is actually going in there because there is different tabs on the back of them. So they can only go in one side so you know which one's going to be the port, which one's going to be the starboard. But that's the first door in there. So on the other side, exactly the same thing. But this time we've got two holes to put these in. And that's the second door in there. Once again, we've got some splinter protection just at the top. So we need to cut those off. And they're actually going to go in front, probably best on the top camera, in front of the splinter protections that we put in the very first detail we put in on this stage, just one in each. If you look at the picture, you can see how they go. They go in just like that. We do the same on the other side. And that's the one in on the other side there too. Now we're gonna be working on the boat support. So we need to take these two larger ones just from the sprue here. And these are basically gonna go on either side of this structure that we created just here. I've put one in dry there, just so you can see what that looks like. But I'll put some glue just into that hole first. And we'll get this in for real. Just like that, exactly the same on the other side. Into the hole there. Then holding it this way up. We'll just push that one in as well. The next size we cut off are P, so we're going to get these ones off now. And they're just basically the next ones along. So I'll put one on this side here first, which is the uh, starboard side I've decided to start with first. So that one's in. Do the same on the other side. Bit of glue. See what I mean about this issue now? <laughs> There's just so much to do. We're nowhere near finishing yet. <laughs> And as you look on the top camera, that's two of those in. And then the final one, we're going to cut off the sprue of the smaller ones, looking just like that. And they just go into the front hole here. Just like that. So I'll put this one in. And there we go. Do the same on the other side. And that's it. So now I'm making sure that they're all level, because we're going to be putting a walkway along these. And that walkway is what was in this bag here from issue 104. So I'll bend this round. And then this will be sitting on the ends of the boat ramp 
just like that. So I'll glue that into place. Putting some glue just on this edge. There we go, that's the first one in. Do the same on the other side. And that's the second walkway in place. That looks really impressive, doesn't it? But there you go. Now we're gonna need this sprue because we're gonna need the vent unit down the bottom here. And that's gonna basically fit right in this section just there. So I'll put this in. If you look at the pictures, best way to align this, as a matter of fact, it has actually got two holes for this to locate. So you just line them up with the bottom here. Push that down. There we go, that's the vent unit in place. And then on the same sprue, we need this half of the flat control station, the smaller half, which is just gonna go on the front there. So more glue. I'm really getting through the glue today. That's just gonna go onto these center points just here and here. So I'll glue that into place this way around. Just holding it for a second. So that now looks like that. Then we're gonna be putting the other side on it. So I'm gonna drop some glue just into these holes here. The other side, as you can see, is a lot longer. I'm just gonna piece these two together so that they fit flush like that. Then we've got the walkway, which is this round section here. Now that's gonna sit on the top. So you wanna put some glue just around the ridge line here. And this walkway can only go in one way because it has got a little notch on the end push it on so it fits nice and flush like that and then to cap that all off we've got two already pre-molded bits of photo etch that we're going to be gluing to make some railings around this section so I'll dab some glue in all of these points and that's the second side so then when that's in it should look just like that now we've got a couple of range finders at the top there that we're going to need to cut off one of these is going to go into this tower here, pointing away from this uh, boat section that we put in here. The other one's going to be going in this section here, pointing towards the 15 centimetre cannon. So put some glue just down the centre there. And we'll put this one in first. That's that one in. Do the same at the other side. And that's pointing towards the center deck here. Just like that. Again, show you on the top camera there. We can put that to one side because we need to cut off all of these <laughs> flat guns and their mounts. There's a lot, isn't there? Now, the way these all go is if this is the base, this is the top, that's just going to be glued on top like that. So the gun complete looks like that. And obviously I've got to make eight of those. So I'll glue these in and get these all made. And there we go, there's eight guns. <laughs> so probably best on the top camera, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these all where they go. So the first one is just gonna go in here, we're gluing them in. So it's just a case of dropping them in at the angle you want them at. And there we go, that's the first one in. The second one, we're working on this side, is gonna go, as you can see, the larger holes here on this deck here. Again, you can have it pointing wherever you want, but I'll have it like it's got it in the picture, just pointing straight out to sea. There we go, that's the second one. Third one, we'll do exactly the same on the other side. And because I'm a man of symmetry, I will uh, have them probably pointing in exactly the same direction as the other ones were there. That's one. One at the top here. Now we've got, I'm going to put that to one side because we've got two guns which actually go on the forward part of the superstructure. Again, why we couldn't put this in at the time, I don't know. But uh, I'm going to show you where they go. They're basically going onto the two points that we can see here on this side and here on the other side here, which is just out of shot. And I'll try and show you that on the top camera. But there you go, that's those two in there. Put this back to one side again only to bring it straight back because the last two 
Oh my god, hang on, I'm just going to get this piece out. I'm just going to go on either side of the spotlight deck on here as well. So, uh, I have just moved one of the cameras around just so you can see this. So you're going to have one in here. And also... one in the other side here why we couldn't have done this at the time i haven't got a clue <laughs> so i'll put them in the side that they've actually got them here as well and that one the other side there so that's all of those guns in place and you do know we're going to be adding loads more at a later time which means all we've got left to do is make these rope reels here so i'll cut these off we have actually done this before so i'll give you a quick show how we do one so we glue each part of these together making sure that both the spindles at the bottom are in line so that should look just like that do that for all the rest of them so we've got four of them there it's going to take some string and start winding that round probably easier to just dab a little bit of glue just on the center there to keep the string in place and also just to cut a length of string straight away so you're not winding the whole thing around I think probably about 15 centimeters is ample wrap that round and you want to glue the last piece down just to keep that neat Just like that and that's how you make the rope reels do that three more times now they're all done the they're going to basically fit around this front section here where the 15 centimeter gun is going to be uh, they do go in a certain way so i'm going to dab some glue just into these four holes three and four so the first one's going to go perpendicular with the edge of the deck so that's going to go in this way just like that put some glue just in this side here for these four holes the second one's going to be kind of like an angle to that one and there's no rhyme or reason for it but uh, on the picture they've got this one at a different angle again going this way like that and then the last one again completely different to the ways that we've just put the other ones in <laughs> going in just like that that is all four of those in place and that's all there is to do in that stage So the first thing I need to do is bring this ship over. And if I remember, at the end of this video, I will weigh this so you can see how much it actually weighs. About there should be perfect because we're going to be putting a whole piece just in here. Now that looks just like that. And quite simply, that's just going to go over like that. Pretty much like we've done for all the rest of them there. We have got a tab that's going to join this to the piece next to it as well. And that's going to go in just like that there. And it's going to be held in with the silver screws, which are two times four mil screws. I have got absolutely loads of these <laughs> now spare. So uh can never have too many screws though. So I've loaded my screwdriver up. I think I'll get this one in here first. This is going to make this deck when we put it on here a lot more stable. Because obviously it's going to be sitting on every single one of these runners now. Now it's also worth noticing that this is starting to come in. So I think this might be the last time. I can use this big screwdriver in between this because as you see it's going to be hard to get it in there so uh, it is what it is that's why they sent us that tiny blue one so we can get these in but uh, put this one in and then the last one just down here so that's in I can put that to one side now we don't need that again but we do need the deck that we worked on before looking just like that now we've got a couple of details on the sprue here looking just like that that we need to cut off 
So I've got my sprue cutters here. Uh, basically, this one is going to be on the port side. This one here is going to be on the starboard side. I'll shortly show you where these go. So the port side one is just going to go into the holes that we see here. And as you can see, we've got some little uh, tabs coming out of that. They need to face out. So we've got one in this side, one in the other side. So I'll get some glue and we'll put these in. So a bit of glue in both of these sides here. And this is the port side going in. Just like that. And we'll do the same for the one just on the starboard side here. Make sure once again when it goes in that the tabs are facing out on each side. We can put this to one side and we can bring over the aft signal bridge looking like this. And the first thing we're gonna do on this side here, we're gonna be putting some rafts. So I've got them here. Get some glue just into the channels that these are gonna be going. One there and one here. And when we put them in, they go with the flat part here facing towards the bottom. So we have one in like this. So you should still be able to see the two holes above it. And we do the same on the other side here. Just like that. Now we've got some lockers to put on. Now if you uh, look at these lockers like this, that's A, that's B, that's C. We need C, the small one here first. I'm getting some glue because that locker is just going to go into the space right here and I'll get my tweezers to help me out to get this into place. And that's it, it should look like that. We've got one to do just on the other side there. Again, when you cut these off, make sure that you keep the tab at the bottom of the uh, of the door. That will help put that in position for you. Once again, a little bit of glue just into that channel there. And you load this up with my tweezers which are a godsend for this build <laughs> and put that into place and there we go that's both of those lockers in place we've got a large shelter to cut off this sprue now so I'll get this off and that's going to go into the points that we can just see there with the tabs that are on the bottom of this so Dab some uh, glue just into these holes. As you see, I don't I don't cake this in glue at all. I only put enough just to spot that in. And this glue is good enough to actually set pretty instantly on that piece. So that looks like that. And then on top of that, we've got the last detail here, which I'm going to cut off get some glue and that's just going to go to the top of that shelter that we just put in place there don't think i need tweezers for this but yep that's gone in absolutely perfect that looks like that now we need to bend all of the uh, photo etch parts like you see in the picture here now as you can see i've got all the photo etch parts here and i have already bent them as they go so the first thing we want, just moving these over, are these little railings that you've had to bend around into these small sections here. They're going to go either side of this aft deck or aft station there. So put some glue just into these tiny holes and we'll get these in. That's the first one. Put the second one in and I'll show you what that looks like. That's the second one. And there we go, that's what they look like when they're both in. Now behind the shelter here, we're actually going to be putting these railings which have a door on. One of these doors has got a hole just in this section. That's going to go on the left side here as we're looking at it. So the one I'm going to put in first, probably best to uh, look at the picture, is just going to be into the channels that we can just see there. So what I'm going to do, once again, I'll put some glue just into those channels. One two that's what's going to hold that in place this part in make sure it's sitting flat so that looks like that and then I'll do exactly the same thing on the other side but this time the railings and the looks like a windbreak are going to be going just on the other side here so I've started that off 
push it down and that's perfect so when that's finished it should look like that see what I mean about the detail on this model now at the front of this deck we've got a long railing with a slight bend in it which I'll put in place one two three again look at the pictures but I've got that piece here didn't actually match this to where I'm putting it in the deck but I can tell you now <laughs> my bending skills has gone in absolutely perfectly then we're going to bring over the deck again because this is going to go on top of these brackets that we just put in at the start and as you can see we've got two holes this side and two holes this side so what I'll do is I'll put some glue just on top of those lugs there one two three and four and we'll put this into place just like that that's got in perfectly now we've put that deck in we need a ladder to go from this side here from this deck down to the spotlight deck here now I've already made the ladder up that's what that looks like so I'll drop some glue in there we've got a hole just at the top here and we've got a matching hole just behind the spotlight down the bottom here get my tweezers and my magnifying glasses to get this in don't mind telling you that was a bit of a challenge to put in but when it's in looks good should look like that now on the 15 centimeter gun here just on this side we're going to be putting some railings so we've got holes here put some glue in that hole and the one next to it and we'll drop that into place making sure it's standing up 90 degrees just like that do the same next to it and then we're going to be doing exactly the same just on the uh what's this one let's think this is the port side so we're going to be doing exactly the same on the starboard side so i'll show you on the top when you're happy with that that's what the ratings look like on that side and that's what they look like on that side and that's all there is to do in that stage but before we do any of that we're going to be bringing over the massive ship again uh probably best on the top camera this one because now we're going to be putting the whole piece in this side here and once again that's going to be putting with the silver screws that i've got here so it's just going to go in this side like this and just like last time once again we've got a tab to connect both of these parts together there so i'll get this screwed down that's one i'll put one in the tab here getting very hard to screw this in definitely now two One at the back, three. And finally, we've just got the one in this side of the tab here. And there we go, that's in. Again, we can put this to one side. Now we should be a dab hand at making these uh, 15 centimeter guns. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the base here. We've got the barrels which are going to go through this section and they're just going to rest on the bridge section there. We're going to be putting the top of that in. That's going to be that bridge section is going to be closed by the opposite here. So when that's down and locked into place like that, we can still move these up and down like that. That's going to be held in with one screw, which is a PB two times five mil screw. Now, because we've got two lots of black screws in this one, the one they mean are the thinnest ones of all of this, which is going to be a pain to actually try and figure out. But I'm just looking here. A bit uh, hard to actually figure that one out, I have to say. <laughs> but there we go. That's that in place. 
We're going to bring the other deck over again. And once again, I'm just going to place this into that deck. A bit like the last one there. And then I'm going to be attaching the cog that we've got here to the bottom of it. Now, it's going to get a little bit tricky. Because uh, I don't want to rest anything on the other side here. So I don't know hmm, how I'm going to do this. <laughs> there you go. I can turn it upside down now. But I'm holding it up from the, uh, the deck there. So now we're going to be putting this cog over the top. You see we've got that recess there. That's just going to fit in that recess that we can see on the gun just there. So line it up and get that in just like that. That's going to be held in with 1.7 times 6 mil screws. Now they are the longest screws that we've got in this pack. And when that's in, that should look like that. Turn it over and there we go. Very good, but we can put that to one side because once again, we are now making another rope reel. We did this at the end of the last stage on this. So I'm just cutting these small details off. I'm just gonna put some glue just around the edges of this section here. Like that. Join them together. And then we're gonna wrap some rope around them now they've gave us ample rope what i tend to do is just cut off about 10 centimeters that should be enough i drop some glue just at the top here to give the rope something to stick to like that before i wrap it round, which i'm doing now And then to finish up, I will just put some glue on the rope itself. And we're gonna use my tweezers to stick this into place. There we go, that's one of the rope rules done. Now that's gonna be facing this range finder just on top there again, probably best on the top camera which I've just zoomed in. Got some glue to drop in these holes. One, two, three, and four. Excellent. That looks just like that. Now I'm gonna put that to one side because we're gonna be revisiting something that we did a long time ago. And that is these tiny things that we had, these 10.5 centimeter guns that we did previously. Now, if you remember, they were just balanced in there. We didn't have anything to do, but now we have got these little sleeves to put in that are gonna keep them in place. So I'll get these out. We put one of the sleeves just over the screw here, and then that's gonna be screwed into the underside of the gun. So I'll put one in here. You don't need to see me do it all of them. This is another one ready to go. I'll just push it in there, push it down. And that's locked into place but still enables it to turn as you can see there so i'll get all of these parts out here and the first thing we're going to do is engage this motor here with the cog so that's just going to go on the end like that locked into place figure out how i'm going to hold this because i'm going to turn this around and we're going to be putting the motor and engage it where it goes which will be going into this section here with the plug facing upwards pretty much exactly like we did in the last stage there we need to keep that into place so we have got a cover to put on this which is here that's going to go on like that and that's going to be held down by two screws and they're the black pb screws that come in this stage now i would use my little jig that i've got for this so you remember that foam square that I was using? But there's so many large details on top. I don't really want to do that. But there's the second one. And that's held that nice and tight. And I'm just making sure that those teeth are engaged in that motor, which they are. We want to take this red and black lead now. Undo that. I'm going to put a sticker on that. The sticker's going to say 
C9. Got two stickers for this one because we've got one for the limiting switch. Now both ends of this are exactly the same, so it doesn't matter what end we put this on. But there you go. And we'd be plugging the end that we haven't got the sticker on just into the motor that we just put in there. So that's just going to go into the back here. Make sure we've got it the right way around. We really should have put this in beforehand, but the instructions didn't tell me to, so I don't quite know why that is. But there you go, that's in place. Turn it back around. All we're going to do then is take the wire off this switch here, and we're going to be putting the C10 label on the end. And then we're going to be putting this into place with one of the flanged screws that we get in this stage. So that looks like that. Once again, I will turn it over somehow. <laughs> this is so fiddly. <laughs> like that. This switch is going to be going with this side here facing down, just into that section there. Make sure it's fully engaged. And then we use the flange screw just in the top there to keep that into place. And there we go. So that's what that looks like from that side. That's what it looks like from underneath, and that's all there is to do in that stage. So here's all the parts for this. And what I'm gonna do is gonna assemble this and try and remember how I did this before and some of the important things you need to do when you link this. The first thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna be putting the barrels just into this section here. And I think the most important thing about this whole build is when we put these in just like this we want to make sure that they are completely straight to each other you don't want one off to one side because i had that and it was a pain to get it for it looking right so when you look at the side they should be perfectly equal like that once we've done that we're going to take the barrels we're going to put it into this section just here from this side here making sure we've got it the right way round. now the right way round is so that this dome section here is pointing upwards. Now we're going to be making the piston, which means we need the front rod and we need the cog here. That's basically going to be going on uh, this way. So it's going to fit flush at the bottom to this part like that. Then we're going to bring this across again, probably better on the close-up camera. We're going to thread this through the bottom, through the spring, so this engages to the top section of this section like that. So it's able to come out. Now, what we want is for that to be able to push back on this like that. Oops, try again. Because that is what's gonna give it its firing like that, you see? But we need to hold that in place. So we've got this little guide for this to sit in here. That's gonna go in just like that. And that's gonna be secured in just from the other side here with PB screws. So here's the first one. Put the second one in. And now that's nice and tight and engaged. So now we can check that that is able to move like that. Now we're gonna be engaging the motor into this which means I just need to undo this wire cable tidy here and put a sticker on. The sticker is C5. Then I'm gonna, holding the motor this way around with a cable up, I'm gonna engage the motor into that, pushing it forward and then keeping that in place just with this cap over the top like this. And once again, just securing this down with two of the black screws, one here. And one on the other side. And I will give this a quick check with the control board that we had all the way at the beginning of this build. So I plug this in, make sure that's off, and hopefully that should fire. So hold it there. There we go. As you can see, 
working absolutely perfectly. So I've bought the hull over and this is what the kill section is looking like. Look, a lot more details now. We've got the channels here for the prop shafts. Now this is just going to go under here, just like this. And it's going to sort of mold into this piece. Oh, move it over a little touch. Like that. As you can see, the lugs are going under this section here. But we do have a tab to put over this. And that's going to go on this way with the circle part of this pointing towards the center of the ship. So this is just going to go on top like that. It's going to be held in with the silver screws. So we've got a few of these. We've got one just at this side here, which is basically going to hold the whole thing in. And I'll put one at the other side here. And then we've got four in this little joiner that we've put in the center here. Now, as you can see, by the way the ship is now lying, obviously the kill section is actually starting to come up now. So I wouldn't be surprised if we do have another stand soon, just to put under that section. That one's number three. And there you go. There's the last one. So that's now all in place. So now we're going to be finishing the Caesar turret so this is what we worked on last time with the motor in there and this time we just want to take the housing and once again this is going to be going this way around fitting into the barrels so that these two points here most important sit on the bridge of that section just there so it's free to rock like that we're then going to be taking this side threading this through the wire like that we've done this two times before to put that into place and once again once that's locked in it should enable these to be free to just go up and down, no problems at all. And they should come out the bottom just like that, which is going to help when we attach the motor to that. But we do need to put this into place. So we just need four of these black screws here. And they're just going to go round the edges here. So that's number one. Number two at the back. Did I say four? <laughs> I meant six because we've got two in the middle there as well. So get all of these in, that's number four, number five, and one more to put in. Now I will be making blast bags for these like I've done for the others, but I will do that later on. It doesn't matter that I've sealed the unit, basically when I make the blast bags, I just glue them just into the insides of these bits here. But there we go, that's that turret completed, that's all there is to do in that stage. So once again, I'm going to bring the ship over just like this. And the section we're going to be putting in is going to go on the port side. Looks like this. It's just going to go in like this. And just like last time, we do have a little tab here, which is going to go on the side like that. Just seeing if there's a, a way around it. That's the way around it's going to go. It's a lot better that way. And it's going to be secured in with the silver two times four mil screws. So I've got one in there just to hold that in. Then I'll get the ones on these tabs in. There's not uh, not many parts left now of the whole section. You can see that as I'm putting this up. And I said, this is probably one of the last times we're gonna be able to use this screwdriver in here. I'm gonna to have to use that little tiny blue one soon to put these in. Cause we are getting to the stage where it's impeded now by the other side. So here's the last screw. And that is the whole piece in. I don't know if I can show you that, but uh, I'll try without tipping it too far. There you go, looks like that. So I'm just gonna put some glue just into one of these trays here. Just a little bit, because we're gonna need some glue now. We're gonna take the Caesar 38 centimeter turret, and we've got a couple of range finders to put on here. Now the range finders go on with this detail section facing forward. So this is gonna go on this way, and the other one here will be going on the other way. So just need to glue these in. Just put some glue just around the top here. Again, if you followed me on this build, I don't really uh, put too much glue on this. Just enough to hold the pieces in. 
So there's the first one. And there's the second one. I'll just hold that for a second. And there we go. That's the two range finders in. Just like the other guns that we put in before, we've got two tiny ladders now just going into these dots here. There's two. And two down the bottom. One there. One there. And I'll put one of these ladders on and show you what that looks like. Just holding that into place. Make sure you glue that in good. I remember way back when we did the first Anton turret. I actually lost one of these ladders, so I had to uh, rebuy the magazine just to get one of the ladders. And to this day, still haven't found it. So God knows where it's gone. <laughs> Let's put this one in. I put the bottom in first. That pretty much lines the top up for me. Make sure it's flat on there. That looks good. And that's the two ladders in like that. Put that to one side. We just need to get our sprue cutters here because we've got two tiny, tiny periscopes to put on. These are just going into these side points here. So that's one. I'll make sure it's sitting at 90 degrees in there. We'll put the second one in. And that's both the periscopes in. Now we want to take this base for the turret and we need to make sure we put this in the right way so that these slots here will fit the indents on these sides here. So I'm just going to line this up. There is a locating lug here which will go into one of these holes. Now we're going to hold this section in just with some of the black screws. Are the longer black ones that we get in this one and it's only going to need two to hold this in place. So that's one. And two. Stupid me when I put this on, forgot to make sure that this wire's through, but no big deal. Look, I can just thread that through <laughs> like that. You want to make sure that comes out of there. Then we're going to be putting this ring through, just like that. And as you can see, this ring has got a notch on it. That notch is just going to match the notch or the line that we've got just on the side. So that's going to go in like that. And that's going to be held in with three screws. And that's just three of the smaller black screws. So that's one. Number two. And finally, number three. Now this is where things get fun. We're going to bring up the deck where this is going to go. We've got a massive bobette here to put on. Just like we did for the smaller ones, we're just going to press this into place. Just make sure everything's lined up and it should push in no problems at all. Just the back one. There we go, that's in. Now I should be able to turn this upside down without any falling off, just so you can see that those tabs there are fully in. And then we're gonna drop the Caesar turret through there so that it sits nicely on like that. Now, things are gonna get a little bit fun now because I need to work on the underside here. So I do have my foam jig that I've worked on before. I'm just going to make sure that when I put this upside down, I'm not squashing any of the parts, which I'm not. It just makes things a hell of a lot easier. So I don't have to worry about any of the details underneath. But I am going to be putting the cog on this section here, which means it goes this way round. And we have got a little arrow there, which needs to point towards the stern of the ship, which will be directly this way round. So I'm just going to line that up just there. Make sure that's seated nicely. And that's going to be held in with two screws. They're just two of the five, two times five mil black screws. They're the smaller black screws. So I'm just going to start them off. One on this side. One on the other side here. And then tighten it up fully. So as you can see, I turn the turret there. When I turn it the other way around, that is what it's looking like. And that's all there is to do in that stage. Now 
Now that means we're working with gears, so we need the gear housing here, and we're gonna drop the first gear into this hole. That's the one that's got the cross on one end. So this is gonna go in like that. Then we've got the large gear here, which has got the tab at the top. That's gonna go next to it like that. And a smaller gear to hold that into place is just gonna go down the center of that. Now in this pack, when it comes to black screws, we've got long ones and short ones. We want one of the longer ones, which are 2.6. That's just gonna go down to the center of this to hold everything together. And we're gonna be screwing this through the center, but don't screw it too hard because we wanna be able to have these gears turning. Very loose, as you can see there. Now we wanna take this brace arm here and putting it in this way so that this section is over that tab and it's coming out of the notch in the side there. That's gonna go in like that. We have a pin here that's gonna go into the first cog we put in. That's gonna hold that into place when we put the housing on top, like that. And then just like I mentioned, we will put the housing on top. So making sure nothing falls out like that. Make sure that's locked in there, which it is. And then we're going to secure this down with two times six mil screws. Again, these are the longer black ones. So one there, one on this side, one in the center here. And then finally, just one here. So now we've done that, we're gonna be putting these mounting brackets on. These are just gonna go on to these points here, just like that. It's gonna be held in with a two times four mil screws. That's the smaller black ones that we've got here. So one on this side, nice and tight. And in the same way, just one on the other side there. There you go. Bring up the deck. And this little clip here, we need to clip inside the gun, just onto this section here. Easiest way to do that, just put my Phillips head screwdriver down here. Just gonna pull the turrets down, offer this to where it goes, and then just pull my screwdriver out like that. And as you can see, nice and easy, that's now attached. Then all we're gonna do is screw this in by the six mil screws, but they're the thinner ones looking like that. They're just gonna go in here. That's one. One in on the other side here, that's number two. number three and number four the last thing I've got to do is take this motor and a label which says C7 I'm gonna put that on the tab here like this and this motor is just gonna go into the side of this so it gets powered by the motor we do want the wire of this going towards this section of the ship here. So this is just gonna go into the side here, and that's gonna be held in just with some 1.7 by six mil screws. That's one. And that's two. And with that motor in place, if I turn that over, that's what it looks like. That's all there is to do in that stage. So bringing over the ship, I don't think I actually have to take this deck off. I might be able to put this in where it goes, just on this side here without moving the deck that we've just made. Let me just put that wire down, otherwise people are thinking I'm uh, pinching the wires, which I'm not, trust me. So that's gonna go in there. We're gonna have the tab here, just going over the top again. It does fit quite comfortably a certain way round, so do try it the other way if it's not fitting to your likes and then just get one of the silver 2x4mm screws to secure this into place. 
So that's one screw in to hold that in. I'll put the screw in the uh, other side here too. And then we'll just do the tab in the middle. It does go a certain way because one of these shafts are shorter as the hill section goes in, one's longer as the kill section. Why do I call it a hill section? <laughs> and there's the second one. Now I've moved the camera around just so you can see these holes in the side. Now the port bilge kill looks like this and you can see these are the holes that it's going to go into and it's this one first which is going to go on here this section here needs to be pointing towards the stern of the ship so it's going to go in here and it's quite simply just a push in so i'll get this one in so I'll just move the camera a bit that's the first one in the second one's just going to go into this side here now i'm not going to lie to you it does take a lot of effort to actually get that pushed into there but that's what that looks like. Now I've done the starboard side, I'm just gonna do the reverse on the port side. So I've just taken the uh, removable uh, part off for the second, just while I get this in. This one's actually a lot easier. And there we go, that's that one in as well. So I'll put the uh, side back on, the magnetic side. Now we've got some photo etch parts that I just need to take off looking like that. And we've got some vents which are gonna go on the babettes here. So I'll get the photo etch parts off first. So the first thing we need off the sprues are these larger stalks here, which look like that. And then in the top, we're gonna to be putting this little photo etch part, which hasn't got a hole in the top, one of the larger ones here. And that's gonna, I'm just gonna put the top one in and fold that down. And it's gonna go in just like that, which means we need a spot of glue in there. Anything we do to this one, we're going to need to do to the other one as well because these are going to go at the front sections here so as you can see we have got two holes in the deck one here one the other side plenty of glue in there and that will enable this just to sit in and stand up against the babette now you want to make sure that they're standing quite straight probably best if I put these in first and then show you what this looks like and there we go they're both in like that then we're going to be cutting off one of the smaller ones of these which is A so that's the first one on the sprue here and in exactly the same way as what we just did, we're going to take one of the smaller vents and put that on here. So again, a bit of glue just in there. Take one of the smaller vents. So there we go, we've got the vent in that side. Do the same on the other one. Bring up the deck again. And you've guessed it, these ones are going to be going next to it. Into these points here. And there we go that's two in the longer one now which is b and do exactly the same thing with the smaller of the vents and they're done like that and guess what these are going next to the ones that we just put in so once again i'll put these in and show you what that looks like while i put the last one in here i do have the question why are we doing this now when we put these rope reels in because they do get in the way while we're putting them in but they now look like that which means we've got one more to put in and that's the shortest one on the sprue here two of these and once again the vents that we got left will attach to these and these go kind of in the same place they're a little bit set back a touch more just behind the rope reel as I said, the rope wheel gets in the way. But again, I'll put this one in. Hopefully you can see this on one of the cameras. Just into here. There we go. And then stand that up at the back. 
I'll do the other side and again I'll show you what that looks like and there we go that's them all in and that's that stage completed <laughs> I'm going to remove this deck because we don't actually need that on at the moment and then that will leave this whole section which we're about to work on. So we're going to be putting the last kill section looking like that and that's going to go into this section here. Now we have got some tabs to put on that to connect to that and you've got one that says 2L and one that says 2R. They're not symmetrical but we want to make sure they're faced this way around. So when this goes on the 2L will be the right position or the right orientation if we're reading it from the port side here so this is just going to go on like that what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a screw in there just to hold that tab into place for a second so i've got that here and that's that screw i'm just making sure that's tight and then that will give me enough scope now to attach this kill piece just to the other side here. So that's that side in there. We do exactly the same just with the other side. This time make sure again that the 2R that's written on that is the right way up if you're looking at it from the starboard side. And we'll get these screws in. Now obviously this doesn't fit flat because the keel underneath here has got room for the propellers underneath that section there. I'm not quite sure what issue they come in but it's not going to be long. But there we go that's that keel piece in. And then the next piece we've got all of these are metal by the way is the propeller housing which looks like that and that's just going to go on the bottom here. The larger lugs here are going to be what's going towards the ship, but it's going to be fitting underneath just like that. Once again, held in with four of the silver screws. Now these are the two by four screws. So that's one in. Once you've got one in, you're uh, not going to have a problem with any of the others. Now what I'm going to do at the end of this video, I'm going to try and hold the whole ship up in front of the head cam so you can actually see how big it is and also I will weigh it so we can see how much the actual ship weighs if anyone wants to actually display this on a wall shelf or something there'll be a bit more than that but with that in that's all there is to do in that stage <laughs> So issue 116, pretty hard for me to actually do this because look, the ship's in the way now. Uh, but we've got the last two side hole pieces in and they're just going to go either side of the hole that we've just fitted or the kill that we've just fitted. So that's going to look like that. Now the first piece we're going to be putting on looks like this. This is going to be going on the port side and this just mirrors exactly what we've been doing for every other piece on here. So what I'll do is I'll hold this in with one of the silver two by four screws just put one in there I think and then once again we've got these little tabs which we need to put on the side and this time they are labeled left and right so we want the free L left this time we want it orientated so it's that way around so I can put that on like that screw that in now I can get one of these screws in easy with my large screwdriver here the other one not so much so if you remember way back in the build they gave us this little tiny blue one just going to magnetize up a little bit so once again i've got a magnet here and to magnetize it just stroke it in the same direction there just a few times and then we just drop the screw should pick that screw up no problems at all. So I'll put this in here. And that's in. And I've got one more screw just to put that to the base here. There we go. 
that goes on like that and then in a similar fashion we've got the starboard side one to put on that's just going to go over here and putting it on exactly the same way now you may be thinking what's there left to do then well we've got the propellers to do we've got a whole nother deck to do more anchors to do a little bit more components electrical work and the big thing the rigging <laughs> which i'm not looking forward to once again this one's going to be going up this side it says 3l that's just going to go over here and this time i can't use my screwdriver so i will be using that little tiny blue one again that's one in and there's the second one try and get that as tight as i can now it's in let's just see if i can get a long oh, i can get that in there it's at such an angle that it does allow me to just tighten that up and there we go coming together isn't it but that's all there is to do in that stage so there you go that's another 12 stages to do which means you've only got two more boxes to do box 11 and box 12 and they'll be on the channel shortly once again if you want to get this for yourself i have put the link down in the video description to the agora models website again you can get this all the way from pack one but i really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care